welcome back random tv reviews your girl annette and your boy stanley so stanley i'm gonna start like t.s <laughs> madison but i ain't got him i ain't got him i ain't got him but when i get my check i'm gonna get him when i find my taxes i'm see, gonna get some see how you gotta do you gotta bounce them like you already got them well they ain't ready yeah, you gotta bounce them like you already got. They ain't ready. Mm -hmm. um, this one gonna be probably a short one because they didn't really give us much, which we know t we're used to Tyler going, taking us like this. Yeah, we're on a roller coaster, you know. So that's basically what's going on today. But um, all our old family members, welcome back. Yes, indeed. If you're new to the family, sit back, relax. This is what we do. Don't take it too seriously because we don't. If we cut the camera off. <laughs> Sign out. <laughs> we don't care. So it was called an eye for an eye. An eye for an eye. And we and actually put a two for a two for in there too to get complete that complete description. Kinda. But it they kinda good. <laughs> We're not doing this tonight. <laughs> I'm tired as heck and I really think it's sleeping outside. Yeah, that, well, I know sleeping earlier when we was at work. Yeah, it's crazy. Well we started off where we left off at where last week where Deacon David was standing on um Hannah's doorstep. She pulls up in the BMW and was like, hey, uh, what you here for? Mm -hmm. He basically started off where he left off at last week. Listen, I know that your son buried Quincy Maxwell down in the ground, put a water hose in his mouth and duct taped it all around here and blew his goddamn stomach up. But what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to use all the Christian values and the Christian morals that I you that he have. really play that card he on did. her. But that's what people do, though. They do. They, they try to back you up. Yeah, when they want you to do what they want you to do, they'll you put that Christian, Christian, Christian card. Yeah, you're be a good Christian and be like, wait a minute. If you're talking about it, you're supposed to be one, too. So you sinning, I'm sinning, we sinning. I guess both of us going to hell. Hey, I'll meet you there. That's hey, what I tell people. Gasoline draws on. Hey. With a match in your hand. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah said, hold on, what? He was like, yeah, I'm going to need you to get tell your son to turn himself in. Or basically, I'm going to strong arm this situation and I'm going to do the job for him. Either way, he going to have to go down because my son is going to get out. So your son going to be the sacrificial lamb today. Yeah. Hannah said, no, 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 this is not what we going to do. And what you're not going to do is... Sit up here trying to back me up about being a Christian, about telling the truth, and da-da-da-da-da. When I stood there in your office while you sat over there and cried those fake crocodile tears, mm -hmm. talking about some you were going to be truthful and be honest and da-da-da-da-da. But all that was was the Holy Ghost convicting you because you knew <laughs> all along about the situation that was going down. True. But you didn't want to be honest hold up to the truth and do the right thing. True. So why now that it's your son and not mine, mm -hmm. you want me to do what you couldn't do your dad gon' sell. Uh -huh. So Dick and David stood over there. He said, so this is what we doing? We doing an eye for an uh -huh. eye too. And he, she, he said, ain't that Old Testament? So that's, what, that's what people do. When they don't want it to apply to them, that you know what, God wiped that away. All the Old Testament wiped away. And she said, but you know what? That's the scripture I'm standing on right now. Yeah, that's what I want to, yeah. And this is yeah, what it's yeah. going to be. Yeah. So basically she said, no, 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 what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. Then he went on the Candace thing. He said, Listen, your son Benny, he ain't all that bad. But that Candace, I don't even know why in the heck are you still holding up for her? Because we know all of this stem from her bullshit. And da 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 da. Hannah looked like, at him and said, like, That's my daughter you talking that, about. That's still my daughter. No, you can't even go to it. Yeah. And Hannah, I'm not going to be too hard on you tonight because I don't even feel like it. But Hannah, why is it so convenient that she's your daughter now that, that somebody else? But that's how it is, though. See, I, I ain't see, gonna get into it tonight. see, you can talk about your sister, but can't nobody else talk about it. But that's true. Yeah, that's how, you, that's how yeah. it works. Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me of the time me and my sister got to fighting. We got to fight over something stupid, you, but you, you can't you, you, you and your brother, too. God told him, man. You just... Me and my brother fight way more than me and my sister does. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Until I body slammed him that day. <laughs> <laughs> but, anywho. So, Hannah looked at David and said, David, listen. Um, You over here trying to talk to me about why I'm holding up for Candace and all of this. But the same way I'm holding up for my daughter when I know she full of skit, you did the same thing with your goddamn wife. Yep. So, holler at me, player. Yeah. Because it's the same thing. He couldn't say nothing. So then Benny say, ended say up. Candace did a whole lot of skit, but she didn't try to burn nobody up. <laughs> so then here come Dick and David being messy. 
Um, cause Hannah was like this whole time, you know what, you in my face talking to me about what you want my son to do. Why don't you talk to you about my son, your goddamn self? He said, well, I went over to my ex, well, my wife's house to talk to her about something, but it seemed like she was a little occupied because yeah. she was sleeping with Benny at the time. So I didn't have an opportunity to talk to him because he slid on up the door before uh -huh. I had a chance to. So Hannah said, huh? huh? Say, what? Yeah, what? what? And she looked like. Put a pin in that, but I'm gonna come back to that. Uh -huh. So then Benny popped up. Benny was like, "Hold on, what you doing here, old man?" Here we so go. they started having their exchange, and da 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 da. He basically told him same thing. Listen, I know what you did. You gonna go up there, turn yourself in, so that my son can be free. Da 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 da. So then here come Benny. This is the smartest he's ever freaking been. And all of the how many uh -huh. seasons are we in? I think it's season six, man. Six, eight, twelve. I don't know. Hey. Um, he said, "You know what?" The body can't use that, but da 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 da. I'm not guilty anyway. So anything that you over oh, here trying to tell me, my wife has taught you well. She's <laughs> trained you well. And here come Benny. She's trained me in quite a few things. I Hannah said, nah. Said, Hannah said, <laughs> don't even go there. It's not what we're gonna do. <laughs> so David, know he ain't getting nowhere with this. So then he played his his ace, his ace card. He said, you know what? Don't even worry about that because, you know, I know you you in with the Malones, in with the mob and all that stuff. So Hannah's over there like... She's like, what, mob? And I know, you know, mama, they store all that stuff up. Mm -hmm. So when they get back in the house... Here she go. Hannah goes on into her... Have you ever been scolded by like a like a church mom? Like my mom was not a church mama, but like my grandma was. But my grandma really couldn't tell me nothing because she ain't live it. So I would look at her and just yeah, be like, they can just, they can just like see through every, all through your lives. I mean, you can lie oh all my you God. want, yeah, and they, they don't buy it. But the way they sit there and talk to you, you trying not to be disrespectful. Yeah. But you trying to hear them out, but you not trying to listen to them. Benny was sitting there like, Mama, I hear you. I hear yeah. you. And then she went on to this. I wish your father would have taught you how to be a man. The same father that tried to kill him to take his kid. Yeah. Down? That dude. Him. <laughs> him down there. Huh. We talking about the same daddy or we talking about somebody else that could be his daddy because th that guy ain't, ain't what he gonna teach him? Yeah. He gonna teach him how to steal. Mm -hmm. How to kill people. Or how to teach him how to do what he doing right now. Sticking and moving. Yeah, do what you gotta do to survive. <laughs> so she was like, you know what, you you know better than this. You over here messing with this married woman and you always tell me that the last time's gonna be the last time. But now we here again and you sticking and moving again. And what, what we talking about with this truck? All of a sudden, you've been over there hanging with her. Now you're talking about a truck. And he talking yeah. about some, I've got a lease. And she was like, so what's this about the mob? She was like, yeah, Mitch is a Malone. She was like, oh, oh. hell. Now I'm trying to figure out this here. Hannah. <laughs> Hannah. you black, Hannah. Hmm. you from the streets, Hannah. You may not know who rolls in the game, but you know the players in it. Oh, yeah. How you didn't know? How you didn't know? You didn't connect the dots no kind of way. You didn't understand how Mitch had a little more swag than the regular white ball, did it? Hmm. I mean, uh, the streets talk. Yeah, they do. So you don't even know who to avoid because you don't know who you looking for. Huh? See, see, when you from a certain part of the tracks. But see, if Hannah even knew that, she would never told Benny because she wanted to win that that argument right there. Yeah. Because she wants, you know, every time she deal with Benny and, and Hannah, I mean, Benny and uh, Candace, she always right. Because the Lord is using her at the time. And she felt in her spirit that he was lying. And Benny said so that, she, he said, go pray. Now you and God. And you gonna, and God going to figure all this out. <laughs> and you, he going to tell you the truth. <laughs> And whatever. And he said, but while you and God doing what y'all got to do, the reason I'm doing everything I'm doing is because I want us to get out of that lady house. You know what I used to tell said, people? What? Like, why is the Lord showing you everything about everybody else, but not but ain't showing you your own skin? Because they lying. Exactly. They, ain't pro they is proper lying. I'm like, why is the Lord going to see past you and tell you about me? God that don't no make snitch. any sense. He not a snitch. That don't make no sense. Um, but I do believe he will send you to somebody and get him a warning. But tell sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he'll do, yeah. I mean, because, you know, I don't took warnings from people about some stuff <laughs> that I But at the same time, I, I saw it. I couldn't be like, you know. The Lord said the, it The all. Lord, like, you know. He might have pinpointed you. For a lack of words, you know, he was like, look here. You see that? Mm -hmm. Go tell him about it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I did see it, if so that makes sense. 
It did. Yeah. Without explaining, it made sense. Because yeah. we ain't got time to yeah. explain it. But if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. So, Landon. I'm sick of Landon. I'm sick of the thirst trap. But, anywho, Landon has gotten orders from Charles Obama. Listen. I've added Georgia, Savannah, Georgia at that to the campaign trail. I'm going <laughs> to circle back and I'm going to get that old thing back. I need you to go ahead and set it up so that when I get there, I'll be able to go see Candace because that's what I want. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. Um, so Candace comes to go to her room. Well, comes and goes in her room. Get in there, landed in there. She was like, okay, hey, what the hey, fuck? Hey, you doing here? He and said, listen, up. don't yell, don't scream, but I'm here on an assignment. The Lord sent me. <laughs> Listen, Charles Obama ain't been right since you put it on him the last time. Nope. So, you got that good, good, you Michael Jackson bad. He, he needed, wants, he, he wanted. He needs to see you. He got to see you. She said, mm-mm, I don't want it. He said, listen, how do you even think you got out of jail? He did that. Mm -hmm. And what you need to stop doing is messing around here with these senators and this. She said, yeah, senators? And yeah, robbing people. He that said, ain't never been Candace, though. Yeah. But he did read her. I will yeah, say he this. Did. Yeah, he I did. said, okay, Landon, I'm going to have to give you this one. He said, listen, this ain't you. Nah. This ain't even how you roll. This is not even how you move. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to numb yourself from your child's death. That's what you're trying mm -hmm. to do. But what you need to do is go ahead, play your cards right, because he really is into you. Yeah. Why don't you just go ahead, change a few things about yourself, still live that hustle lifestyle that you do in the White House. She was like, what am I going to look yeah. like in the White House? Yeah, matter of fact, you look good doing it too in a nice dress. He said, White House ain't nothing but a whole bunch of people getting over on people robbing right, That's people what anyway. politics is. I said, exactly, that's he what said, politics is. So instead of you doing it in this hotel room, based, like you said, you're going to do it in the White House doing in a nice gown. Uh -huh. So why don't you, and she kind of looked at it like, well, you got darn right. Yeah, you ain't got to turn no tricks no more. The money will come to you. You ain't got to go to the money. So then she said, well, you know what? Go ahead and tell Charles Obama I decline, and I'm not a prize to be won. Landon said, all right, I'm going to tell him, but don't be surprised if he pop up in here on you. Cause... And you know he going to show up like Michael Miles. I said, all right, now Chucky going to come back through the door. Not she Charles. She going to come in the house and, and go in the bathroom and brush her teeth and look, he be standing up in the shower. right there. So then we see a scene with Charles is out there. No, Landon, Landon. Landon's talking to the to the girl. I can't remember my name. I can't remember my name, yeah. Um, but he's basically telling her, I am in love. Yeah. I am After in love she called with him that out. man. I, 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 I really want to make a move, but I can't. Girl said, eh, 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 don't trade places with what I've been through. Yeah, that, 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 that brown looker. And that brown, brown looker. It, it don't match. Yeah. So if he it's drink, a trap. You drink less Just than him. Just a little bit less, yeah. Because if you go there, it's all going to turn it's out gonna be bad. bad. And I wanted to hear the rest of her story. So do tell. What what happened to you, boo? Uh huh. Because she looked like she's still scarred over whatever uh -huh, happened to her. Darn. So then over there at um Demonica House. We got a drunk as a skunk Melissa. Tow off from the floor up. She been drinking that clear, and she ain't in the clear. And Veronica said, hold on, wait a minute, huh? Oh, who drunk up my liquor? She said, you drunk? She said, mm, I, mm not yet, yeah. but. You know, kind of. Yeah. Demonica took her to the sink, opened her mouth, put a spoon down her throat, and made her throw up and said, listen here. What you're not going to do is play around with the health of my baby. And I'm so confused because last week I didn't speak about it because I knew it was going to come up this week. But it really didn't come up this week. She told her last week we're going to go to the doctor and try to figure out why you're not showing. But then yeah. this week we over here talking like she already been to the doctor. It's been reconfirmed that she really pregnant again. So I'm really confused. I'm confused. Because and now that I'm confused by I don't understand why she's still there. Right. Because if, if, if first her father was the freaking jail keeping her there. Because she wanted her father to get the care. Yeah. He's and I gone. understand that she don't have any money and no family. Like, you know, her mama pimped out, basically. But you a young, able-bodied female. Hell. Uh, you Hell. Make, you can make a way. Hell, you can go over there and do some stuff, some strange stuff with Candace. She really ain't sleep with nobody at the moment. Uh -huh. She just making people, she just yeah, like, Go and pimp with her for, for, about, for about, about three months. Not even three months, a week. Get you enough money, get you a down payment well, on Well, the kind of money she should leave that chick, she need to work for three months. <laughs> True that. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, why is she still there putting up with this woman's bull? Don't make sense. They going back and forth, back and forth, slapping each other, clean my sink up, this, that, and the third. And um, Demonica told her, you only had one job to do, and that was to get my son to sleep with you, and you fucked that up too. And Melissa sat back, because he's gay. He's gay, he's gay. 
So Veronica said, no, is it you? Your fault. It's you. Your fault. That's the problem. I, I mean, I'm sitting there like, she said, that's why he's in jail. And Melissa was like, in jail ain't gonna do nothing. And I said, you know what? <laughs> I zoned out for a little bit because I said the scene was entirely too free too long, long for what needed to be said. Listen, we 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 get it. We friggin' get it. So over there, back over there at the hotel again. Now Jim is finally getting what he paid for. Getting it in. Getting She's it in. Putting it on him. So then his wife walks in the room. Yep. Because she needs to tell him about the visit that she got from George last week. She ain't trying to go to jail. She ain't trying to go to jail. And I said, Can Catherine, Lord have mercy. You're going to be eating out the palm of Jim's hands once again. Because I saw where it was going at Dita. So it went but that let, way. But let, me, but let me say this right here. Before you even get started. Hey. I, don't even, I don't even understand why Catherine keep on jumping back at Jim. Because she got enough money to buy her way out this situation, man. See, when you got little, she might do a little bit of jail time, but that money can reduce that sentence down for a whole lot. Yeah. So if you really don't want Jim anymore, you can, you can, you can make that happen. Agreed. But I, but I think she still wants Jim secretly. I don't think so. I do. I think it's just after what I just saw. Continue. I don't know. But the Bible does say that money answers all problems. So, yeah. so Catherine walks in, homegirl was riding, doing what she was doing. She jumped up off off a of gym real quick. Cause Catherine said, you know what, do you want me to shoot her? You really want me to shoot this chick? So homegirl goes over there, runs to Candace, tells Candace, oh my God, I was with you John, with the John and his wife came in. She said she was going to shoot me. And da, 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 da. So Candace was like, if you don't calm your overdramatic hind parts down and tell me what's what the, really what going on. So she gave her some brown look. Girl said, I don't drink brown look. She said, drink the goddamn brown look. <laughs> so she started drinking. She loosened up a little bit. She started describing who the John was immediately. She knew who it She was. knew it was Jim. She told that girl, said, listen, where the money at though? I ain't get it. Wife said she was going to kill me. She ain't killing nobody. She's a soft spot. Uh, She's a yeah. coward. She ain't going to do nothing but stand there and look cute. Go back over there and get the money. She was like, mm-mm. I ain't going to get that money. Everybody mad. So, homegirl said, you know what? No, Candace schooled her. Said, you know what? Jim loves strength. He yeah. loves somebody that can give it to him. When he bucks back, you buck back even mm -hmm. harder. A, she was like, well, what about the wife that said she was going to shoot me? She ain't going to shoot you. She man. ain't going to shoot you. Just treat her like she's a whale in the sea. Like she ain't dead. Homegirl said, but I, I like, like whales. whales. I was <laughs> like, what? I don't know why that was so I said, to me. uh, brown she drunk that brown look. I like whales. It don't kick there. It don't kick there. So homegirl takes her tail back over there to the room, bust into the door while Catherine and um, Jim is having this conversation about the bullets matching and why stuff ain't going the way it's supposed to go. And in Jim's mind, why didn't I knew that this was coming up? Because I already don't shook down Sarah. Sarah's supposed to be telling me you everything. everything. Yep. So he wouldn't call, try to call Sarah, but went to voicemail. Yep. Homegirl busts in the room and she said, look, I'm back here for what's mine. Catherine said, do you really you want, want me, me to, to shoot, shoot you? I ain't shot nobody since D.A. Salisbury State. Hey. God knows I need to shoot me somebody today. Homegirl just looking like she ain't there, like Candace told her to do. Mm -hmm. Jim said, you know what? Wait right there. Gave her the money. Homegirl walked on up out of there. Went back to the room to turn she the bragging. money over. She said, I did that. I did that. I did that. I'm did good. That. I'm good. Candace said, all right, don't brag too much. Get in the shower. Take a bath. I said, at least you make her take a bath. Because uh -huh. everybody around here just sticks, moves, put clothes on and keep on moving keep about on moving, that day. Yep. So told her, go put your clothes on. I mean, go take a bath. Yeah, because we got to go, go back down you. to the bar. Yep. Make Here's your more. cut. So she gave her a fold. And I couldn't really tell what it was. It looked like it was a hundred dollars. I don't think it was just a hundred dollars. Yeah, I think Jim gave chance. her a thousand. So you and so she got a ten percent. Yeah, she's got. Yeah, that ain't no money, man. I said so. I was like, you gotta work for three weeks, man. Well, three months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So homegirl said, "What?" Candace said, and ripped the money in half. And she said, "Keep on running your mouth. It's gonna get a little lower than now." I said, Candace, you ain't right for that. But did y'all see Jim standing up in that daggone room with that shirt off, looking like a goddamn pole Purdue chicken? Yeah. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Nipples sitting out here like this. Them jokers cross-eyed. I said, mm -mm, that ain't a sight that I want to see. I, I don't I don't know if you was getting ready to talk about this. Probably but it not. seemed like Jim always win. Uh, yeah. He always, but he tell Catherine every time she do something, you going to need me before, I, before need. I need you. And every single time it works out. 
Now she in the pickle. She don't want to go to jail. She need his help. Now it's we now. We, it's we. And, she, and he, he said, was like, I'm going to testify. Said, I'm going to sign the paper. He said, we ain't talking to you. Put my credit cards back on. And give me some cash. And give me some cash. God damn, she ain't give him $10 million. What? She said, hey, Bank of America, can you transfer? <laughs> Even Lloyd probably was like, what in the fuck are you doing? You just told me to do this because y'all were getting divorced. Cause her, she said, I know, I know. So I just imagine that was a conversation. Uh huh. Lloyd, so y'all gonna stress Lloyd out at the bank. But did you have to give him $10 million, though? At this point, he probably would have settled for $50,000 because he broke. Yeah, he just needed a place to lay his head. Yeah. Cause he was so scared. She was gonna put him out that room. He didn't know what to do. So then he said, you know what, Catherine? We need to take us a trip on our favorite rocket ship. Going <laughs> to down Wyatt. to Wyatt's, <laughs> the, the little Einstein. <laughs> because he thinks he knows it all. And she was like, huh? So nope, we need to go down there and talk to Wyatt because he got some stuff going on. We need to go ahead and get above that before we can even deal with any of this. So she was looking like, all right, whatever, whatever. Just whatever. I, I just paid ten million dollars for it. Let's go ahead and do what you say. <laughs> Hello. So then we down there. I don't think I missed nothing else. So then we go nah, down to um, the FEMA jail. Wyatt goes to the FEMA jail. I'm like, oh, so he goes to see Jeffrey. But I said he didn't know Jeffrey. Was nah, like you want he's going to do the police report? So come yeah, on, come on, Oscar told him to go down there. So then here come Dick and David come around the corner. Oh, you here to see um, Jeffrey? Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Oh, he I didn't here? know he was here. Huh? Huh? He said, wait right here. We're going to go ahead and go in. I said, well, God darn. You got enough pull to get wired in there to get to the back, but you had to stay out there in the goddamn waiting room for 24 hours before you yeah. even got back. But all of a sudden, even... you got all this pull. Now you getting him to come on in the back. And I said, Wyatt, don't go back in that room. It's not going to end it's well. It's not going to end well. It's cause not going to Because if end Justin see you well. back there, it's going to be some smoke in the city. So David went in there first, and he said, I got a surprise for you, son. I got him in here as my legal assistant. <laughs> Do anything about why it says legal or assistant. Mm. I'm just saying. So he comes in there, and of course, Jeffrey is relieved to see his friend, but he's more concerned about him because he said, you look jittery and jumpy and da-da-da-da-da, mm. which is telltale signs that you're either relapsing or you don't get ready, Get ready to relapse. So he said, no, I'm good. I ain't with old girl no more, but I'm good. I'm worried about you. And when you get out of here, regardless of what your mama did, you got a good daddy. Your daddy going to get you out, and I'm going to give you some money. We can get out of town. He said, I got $9 million. We can go live it up in Cali. Live it up in Cali, and but we can be all right. I'm Cali, saying, though, you really trying to relapse. You really trying to be broke quick. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you get out there, two weeks, you broke. Baruch. So... He was like, you know, you're going to be good. You know, he said, you know what, before I go ahead and leave, let me give you a hug because you look I like said, you need oh, it. Hell. And I said, don't I do said, it. Oh, don't do it. Don't do I it. I knew, I knew, I knew the devil's going to walk in and see it. Soon as he laid his head up on his shoulder, I said, oh, And he come hell. around there. Justin Timberlake. Oh, hell. And, of course, it went off from there. So, we really didn't get a lot accomplished. But next week, did y'all see Veronica DeMonica? Pull up in that car over at Dick and David house looking like the black Malibu Barbie. That car was nice though. Of course. Yeah, that car was nice. Yeah, Melissa told her, say, I wish I had killed you when I grabbed that stern wheel. Uh -huh. Why didn't I kill you? But you still got an opportunity to kill her though, Melissa. So I don't know. Maybe we're going to find out what's the ball and chain button. Until then, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. <laughs>